if n is a positive integer and n cube plus 6n square plus 25n plus 391 divided by n plus 4 is also an integer, then can we find the value of n? The answer is yes. In order to do so, we will use something called remainder theorem. Remainder theorem says if a polynomial fx is divided by x minus a, then the remainder is equal to f of a. Now we can regard n cube plus 6n square plus 25n plus 391 to be a polynomial in n and n plus 4 if we also a polynomial in n. So if we divide n cube plus 6n square plus 25n plus 391 by n plus 4 and so we get an integer then it must happen that minus 4 cube that is f of a in this case a is minus 4 so minus 4 cube plus 6 into minus 4 square plus 25 into minus 4 plus 391 divided by n plus 4 is an integer. Now let's simplify the expression minus 4 cube is minus 64 and then 4 is square is uh, 16. 16 into 6 is 96. If we subtract 64 from 96 we get 32 and 25 into 4 is 100. 391 minus 100 is 291. If we add 291 with 32, then we get 2 plus 1 is 3, uh, 2, 3. We get so 3, 2, 3 divided by n plus 4 must be an integer. Now we know that 3, 2, 3 is not a prime, it's a composite. In fact, 3 to 3 equal to 19 into 17. Now, if this expression is an integer, then it must happen that n plus 4 is a factor of 3 to 3. So, n plus 4 equal to 17, 19 or 3 to 3. One may wonder why not n plus 4 equal to 1. You see that we are taking n to be a positive integer. If I take n plus 4 equal to 1, then n will be equal to minus 3 that's not allowed so if n plus 4 equal to 17 then n must be equal to 13 if n plus 4 equal to 19 n must be equal to 15 if n plus 4 equal to 3 2 3 then n must be 3 1 9 so those are the three choices of n that being 13 15 and 3 1 9